Okay, everybody, welcome to another Ignite Visibility University podcast video edition. Today, I am so excited because we have Hillary Kay here with us, who is CMO, uh, always excited to have a CMO on, mm-hmm. of Wibbits. Hillary, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know we're all very busy as marketers, but it's great to be able to give back and give a little bit of knowledge to up and comers and peers. Um, I know a lot of people would love to hear just a little bit about who you are and your role. Um, Tell us a little bit about um, what you do. Sure. Um, So I am the CMO, as you said, at Wibbits. and I'm looking over everything marketing and communications related. So everything from our global branding and communication strategy uh, down through lead generation, working closely with our sales team. Uh, so sort of the whole breadth of marketing. Um, I've been at Wibbits for close to six years now uh, and have been part of our founding team. So it's been quite quite an exciting journey, uh, sort of entering uh, the company, starting with just category creation to begin with. And now where we're, we are today, where online video creation is a well-established established space. Um, it's pretty, uh, um, you know, a, a key part of many, many marketer strategies today in, in digital marketing, digital video in general. So, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been, fun watching the industry evolve over these six years and um, also as a marketer myself and working with our customers and and their video marketing strategies has also been uh, very fun and interesting. Very cool. Well, thank you for that background. And I am familiar with the product. I have always enjoyed it. I've worked with it uh, with um, three or four clients now. And one of the things I love about it is it kind of gives you that ability to do video at scale. And it allows you to create videos um, in a way where it just it kind of takes out a lot of the hard work that goes into it. Tell, tell everybody who's listening just a little bit about Wibbits, just so they kind of understand the, the product and how it works. Sure. Uh, so Wibbits is an online video creation platform. So uh, as you're saying, it, it makes it very easy for anybody to create a high quality professional uh, video. So you don't need experience. You don't need to know uh, After Effects or Premiere or these very advanced tools that um, you may might be more familiar with. But uh, it allows someone like me who I've never touched any of those platforms. I don't know really much about video to create something that looks um, to the standards that most marketers have for their brand. Uh, It also is very fast, as you said. So it allows um, agencies or even in-house marketers to really scale up um, video content. And it's necessary to do that today since we have so many channels that we're creating content for. with just the all of the social channels that we are needing to, to create content for and all of the different sort of uh, styles and formats that you need to adapt for each of those channels. So a tool like ours just makes it much more manageable, um, much more approachable to bring video into your media mix and, and do it at scale and uh, in also a cost efficient way. Yeah, really well said. And 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 for everybody listening, you know, um, and 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 Hillary, you know, so for what I've I've seen us use it for is um, uh, say we've got a bunch of blog posts and we would love to have a video for every single mm-hmm. one of those blog posts. And mm-hmm. then if in some cases also creating YouTube videos out of that. So, you know, you got your top 100 blog posts, they're getting a ton of traffic. Wouldn't it be great to get 50 or hundred videos on that so you could explain it better. And so, mm-hmm. so let me ask you, is that the main kind of application that you're seeing people use it for? Um, what's, what's kind of the main ways that people are utilizing this ability to create um, these type of videos um, at scale? Totally. I think that that is a a great example. Uh, So bringing video into your content marketing mix. uh, So being on, you know, with that on your blog, uh, with social media, of course, 
uh, and and repurposing existing content into a video format is is a very common use case, which I think um, marketers now really have grasped the need to repurpose whenever possible um, to be more efficient and to scale, as we're saying. Uh, so that's definitely common to create a sort of video version of a blog that you can put within the blog itself, which can help boost your SEO, of course, and to use that to help uh, better promote that content on social through organic or even paid um, promotion to drive more traffic back to your website. So that's a common use case. Uh, we also see many of our customers using video for customer stories. That's a great one. Uh, it really adds another level of um, you know, emotion and, and uh, helping drive that story behind I, your I your like that a lot. So. Could we double down on that one for a second? So if I wanted to take um, some of our testimonials or great reviews out there, totally. you, they use your platform for, for testimonial video creation? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so even, you know, uploading a video, if you'd have a, a zoom in, since we're not doing in-person videos so much uh, these days, but, um, you know, an interview with a customer, you can upload that to our platform very easily, add your branding just so it looks more professional, but still authentic, um, or even taking a quote from your customer customers and adding that into, you know, a, a video, having a series of your top quotes from customers and, and um, sharing customer stories that way. Okay. That's really exciting. So I want to shift gears a little bit, maybe even, you know, so my main question is why is video important and why should people be investing in it? Um, it's my understanding that it's one of the, uh, one of the types of mediums that people want to consume the most now in, in the modern day opposed to text. Are you hearing things about that too? Are you feel, hearing things or have any stats about why it's more important in the marketing mix that, that you could share with us? Yeah. Um, so when you're talking about, I mean, I, I think we, we all can just reflect on ourselves and the types of content that we're drawn to and video is um, clearly the the top when it comes to different formats on on social media on websites uh, we've seen that in the decisions made even with uh, the social platforms with prioritizing video in their algorithms for example so um, it's it's been proven uh, I think over and over again over these past few years that video outperforms text and, uh, and, and images. Mm -hmm. um, we also see that in uh, the performance of our customers' content. So um, for example, we, you know, we have a customer who uh, they have an omega-3 supplement. They just got started with video for the first time. They literally didn't do video at all before. Um, started uh, to publish uh, posts on social media with video for the first time and saw a 35% improvement in engagement. So it's it's seen within you know the nitty gritty details of the metrics you're looking at um, in the different channels you're leveraging. But I also just think on a larger trend um, and even this year that has been accelerated tenfold just because of our change in lifestyle, people are staying at home, they have even more time to consume content. Um, a lot of people are craving those personal connections, uh, craving the human connection that I think video just provides on another level than a, a text article or an image does. I love that. And, you know, just a moment ago, I was talking to our head of content here and we were thinking about, you know, what are some of the ways that we can really gauge um, performance of content, not necessarily from, you know, con a conversion perspective, but um, from a page view perspective and from a dwell time perspective and from mm -hmm. a bounce rate perspective, just based off a quality of content assessment. And in the context of this conversation, you know, you got to think you add, um, you know, a video to all of your top content pages and that's got to increase your your dwell time and your engagement it's a i mean so so those type of metrics i would think people would want to um, look at as well absolutely yeah uh i think it's time spent on page it's definitely a big one for for video and you know it's often a question of how do we measure performance of video and i think it really comes down to uh honing in on what your objective is what is the objective that you're using that video to achieve 
and then uh, defining the, the success metrics from there. Awesome. So with this video and in marketing in general, like these two things together, like where are you seeing the biggest successes in video and in marketing in general right now? Like what are you excited about um, with the marriage of the two or, or even just as a standalone, you know, for marketing and digital marketing, you know, kind of going into 2021? Yeah, um, it's a great question. I think that we have seen video evolve very much over this past year. Um, and we're seeing it, of course, you know, in, in the way that many of our customers are using video today for content, for social media, for customer stories, product demos. Um, but we're also seeing it in just communication. So uh, using video as a form of communication itself, obviously we're commuting, communicating over uh, live video or Zoom, whatever it is so much, um, but using it as a way to actually have a more personal sort of relationship or engaging with your audience in that way. Um, for example, recording, uh, video recording. So uh, Loom is a, is a company that's doing that. Um, but I think that marketers will start to sort of explore even more how they can um, use video to sort of fill in spaces that we have lost in, uh, in a more remote world. Um, but also, I think it, there, there are trends that we'll continue to see even when we are you know, going back into the office more, when live actual conferences are starting again. I, I do think that um, digital video will, will continue to be a huge part in how we engage with our audiences. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, um, you know, one of the things that I've seen on the video side, I've even seen people using it for, um, you know, targeted outreach, they might make a customized video totally. and send it yeah. just to one person putting in all that extra effort. And that to me is something um, that's that's pretty amazing. And that I think can be effective as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, on, on the marketing side right now, you know, I got, I have one other question to ask you, and then I want to get into just a few more things, but you know, the company's grown a lot and um, I give you guys a huge amount of uh, credit for that. Uh, so much respect, you know, what's that journey been like going from a, you know, just a small founder company where you're one of the first people and then now to the point where it's, you know, you're, you're looking at global marketing, like how is that kind of scaled? I know it's a big question, but just for our marketers who haven't had that experience, before what what's that journey been like just generally um it has been quite a journey uh i i think anyone who's worked at a startup can understand or relate to the speed at which things change and how six months can feel you know six, looking six months back it feels like a completely different company than you were um you know than you are where where you are so it's been it's been uh, it's been interesting. I think also there are different requirements as a marketer when you are just starting versus where again where I said uh, where we are today, where the space has been defined. Um, there are competitors in the field uh, versus just getting started and actually just introducing online video creation as. Uh, concepts. So there's different needs, as, different needs and requirements as a marketer and your strategy needs to adapt as both your company, of course, grows, but also as the market as a whole uh, grows and changes. Um, so it's been, and of course, you know, growing a team and scaling a team is, is a whole nother thing. And it's been amazing and, and so exciting to see um, the, you know, the, the way that we've, we've built what we have also just seeing the customers, I think, um, you know, what, as starting out in a, in a company that was just getting started and now where we are today, I can name, you know, tens of hundreds to hundreds of big brand names that we work with. Um, it's really exciting, you know, to say that we work with the HubSpots and the Bloombergs and the at and of the world. It's, uh, it's, Definitely, um, you know, it feels good because it, I've been a big part of that. So. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. So everybody, you know, I, it, you, it's definitely a rewarding field. Hillary, uh, amazing work and amazing work to um, your team there. And, and thanks for um, giving us an encouraging story that, you know, others can aspire to who are younger in their career. And we're excited for you for the, the you know, the global expansion initiatives and, and all the things that, that go along with that. Um, 
couple other things, you know, what do we have to be excited about um, moving forward in video and uh, with Wibbits or outside of Wibbits, you know, in, in, anything else you wanted to touch on on that point? Sure. Um, I think another another interesting sort of uh, trend we've seen in this past year is the increase in popularity or just sort of the affinity for more authentic content. Mm -hmm. uh, the massive uh, growth of TikTok, I think, is the best example of this. Um, and it's something that, you know, we've seen in the past how uh, brands have needed to evolve as consumer preferences have changed around video. One example looking back would be vertical video, um, where, you know, at a certain point, people looked at vertical video or people, meaning more brands, looked at vertical video thinking, no, we never need to do this. Like, it'll never stick. People aren't going to like this. And uh, it's now a must within uh, digital video and, and marketing strategies. So I think that um, this sort of shift towards a little bit more authentic or real uh, content is something that uh, brands are going to need to, and marketers are going to need to really um, you know, embrace and figure out what it means for their business. Because you know, as a marketer, I think we have a certain level of standards or um, we want our content to look a certain way and maybe kind of deconstructing that a little bit and figuring out, okay, well, what does this mean in a more authentic people, human centric way, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely um, some great opportunities for brands to learn their voice with, um, with story content, feed content, mm -hmm. watch content. And um, I think, you know, the, the marketers that win are going to be the ones who are able to execute and crack that code and find that brand voice and kind of connect it all together. So um, certainly going to be uh, the year of the video in 2021. Mm -hmm. Do you think 2021 will be the year of the video? I think we can say that's probably going to be. I, I definitely <laughs> think, it, you know, I mean, yeah. we're, we're kind of calling it the golden age of video that we're Very, entering, so. Really? Are you? Okay. Yeah. That sounds better. I like that one yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, Hillary, where can people find out more about you and find out more about any products or services um, that are associated with what you're doing? Sure. Um, so you can find me uh, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. My name is Larry Kay. Uh, and I think uh, our blog is an amazing, amazing resource for uh, obviously all things video. Um, so highly recommend checking that out. Uh, we have tons of information around how you can better leverage video for really whatever your needs are. If you're a B2B marketer, if you're uh, a smaller business. So uh, I recommend our blog. Awesome. Thank you very much. Anybody, uh, if you have any questions about any of the thing we covered today, make sure to leave it in the comments. Um, when this is posted on social media, we'll be tagging Hillary and Wibbits and they'll be happy to respond. Hillary, thank you so much for being on today and for sharing thank some you. knowledge and getting our listeners pumped up about video. We're all yep. uh, with you on it and we hope you have a great day. Awesome. Thanks so much, John.